Okay, so right now we're sitting in a BMW E46 and we are using the Autel MD802 to scan the vehicle. The ignition is turned on and what we're going to do is we're going to try and pick up some fault codes. We know the BMW is running a little rough um, so we're not exactly sure what the problem is but this code reader is going to tell us exactly what the problem is and where the fault is occurring. Uh, so just basically choosing the vehicle, we're in a 3 series, it's an A46, um, as you can see establishing vehicle communications, it is important at this stage that the ignition is turned on, that way the scan tool can connect with the vehicle. Right, so select the vehicle and it is an N42 compact 316TI it's European right hand drive ok to that right so we'll just do an auto scan And what it's doing is searching through all of the available modules on the vehicle. And it's showing but any faults that may be occurring. Where it says pass no fault means there are no particular faults within that module on the vehicle. Um, and as we as we go through the modules you will see that there will be a fault on one of the two of the modules. Mm, here we go, there we go. So there is a fault within that module. What it'll give you is a line. Right, there you go, this one here, you see there's five faults within this system. Sometimes a lot of the faults that come up, um, they can be, you know, the vehicle can still be completely serviceable and perfectly fine to drive. Um, and a lot of these faults do occur without anybody even ever knowing about them because they are such small little faults that you know the the drive or the user's experience is never affected and it certainly won't produce any dashboard warning lights like the engine management light um, or anything like that so a lot of the times the faults are nothing to worry about as you can see it's a very thorough check that the Autel MD802 is doing here been scanning a lot of the modules available and we're still only 78% through so it's an excellent kit if you are thinking of getting one not only does it cover BMW but it covers pretty much any vehicle on the road um, from all different sectors the Japanese vehicles the French all the European the American vehicles as well it will cover pretty much any vehicle that is on the road today in fact, most vehicles from 1998 to 2012. Um, sometimes, if your vehicle is before 2001, you might need to get a different um, connector. But most vehicles from 2001, in any case, will connect up through the 16 pin diagnostic port. Right, here we go. So the scan is complete. Now, um, I'm not interested in that. Not interested in that. Not interested in that. Electronics. There you go. So it's just basically going through each system. Now there's fault nine faults on this particular system, so we're gonna go in and have a look at them. 
and we'll read the codes. Thermal oil level sensor not present. Um, as you can see on the left hand side, it's giving you like the, the actual fault code itself. That one there is 2783, so the mass airflow sensor is a problem. Um, camshaft control exhaust output problem that relates to the camshaft sensors. So there are a few faults on here. We can, of course, clear the faults as well, that's not a problem at all. Um, but it's best to actually look at the actual. Um, the parts first of all, replace the parts, then clear the fault, then the vehicle will run as normal. So there it is, that's just a quick scan through on the Autel MD802.